so welcome back guys here's another modern warfare 3 guys so in this one we will be doing the act 4 mission bad signal so this is for solo players so you will be able to easily do this solo if you follow this guide so if you don't know what this mission is basically you go into the new zone from season 1 the dark keeper and you got to run around to activate four seals and then as you go to leave you will need to battle one of the ether worms so this is your guide on completing that so what you want to try and get is a flawless ethereum crystal to pack a punch your weapon to level three if you can't get one of these then simply just go into a game complete contracts until you've got enough money to go to the pack a punch machine in t the tier three red zone and pack a punch to level three for your perks you're going to want to put stamina up speed cola and juggernaut and phd flopper on these are a minimum requirement but you can obviously put the others on if you want to put them on you will also want to get a shatter blast ammo mod and you will want to try and get either a lep epic or a legendary ether tool these will just boost your weapons rarity to either the epic or legendary depending on which one you have obviously i recommend legendary but if you can then just get epic so for the weapons we'll use the wsp swarms and we'll put the wsp reckless 90 long barrel on the hip shot l20 laser the nine millimeter high grain rounds a hundred round drum and we will also equip the WSP Akimbo Brace Stock. So once you've set all this up, you will then want to change your tactical grenade to decoy grenade and put your lethals to thermite or the ether blades if you have them. So stepping right into the game, what you want to do is come over to the red zone and come to this little fill with the star on it that says bad signal. This only has one spawn location so don't worry about looking around the map for it, it'll always be by you. Come up, interact with the portal and then go onto your attack map and hold Y to vote to go into the mission. So just obviously wait until the countdown finishes and it starts to teleport you to the mission itself. Once you're in the mission, you'll have four yellow icons pop up around the map. You will need to make your way around to each and every one of these yellow icons, which basically bring you to the seal. So you just activate the seal and then basically just get zombie kills around this seal. So just come up to it, interact with it, and just basically run around in the circled area by it, killing the zombies until the meter on the side is completely filled up and you have completed the seal. So as soon as you've done the first one, obviously make your way over to the second one. As soon as you're at the second one, activate it again and then just kill the zombies around the area to fill up your meter. So obviously as you can see when you do kill the zombies there, there's like soul things that actually go into the seal so this is how you know it's actually working so just kill until your meat is full and then make your way over to the next seal once that one is done. So again just literally run around kill the zombies in this area filling up the seal and then as soon as this seal is done move on to the next one which obviously is our fourth and final one until we move on to the actual boss itself So just a note when you're doing these, just keep like basically moving around, never stand with your back against the wall or anything like that, just always keep moving around in circles, keep an eye on what's coming from what directions, try and kill them off as soon as you can. 
just obviously to avoid you going down. Obviously if you do come into here you will want to bring a couple of self revives just in case. So once we filled up our last seal you will then get another little yellow icon pop up around the map. So as soon as you have finished it and filled the meter up for the fourth and final seal you will see one of them yellow icons pop up further on down to the like beach area of the map. Just come over to it when you see this portal as you run up to it a ether worm will spawn. So as soon as he spawns what you want to do is just try and start shooting him. You want to shoot the purple areas around his back as these are his weak points and you don't want to shoot the like hard rocky area of him because this will not do as much damage but you also want to keep in mind he does shoot these little orb things out of his mouth and they will basically deal damage to you as they chase you around the map you need to be careful of these because they do deal quite a bit of damage to you especially if there's loads of them chasing you and to be honest they can be quite annoying so it is best to try and keep an eye on them and take them out as soon as you can so obviously that was his first attack which is like a lunging sort of hit he'll like lunge down and try and bite at you that was his second one if he shoots his laser at you you want to try and move out of the direction this laser is going because you will go down like that so just keep literally running around when he burrows under the ground i would suggest getting to a bit of a higher ground because he will come up and basically eat you but if he does eat you when you're in his mouth just keep spamming a until he spits you out and then this will force you to basically open your parachute as he spits you out because if you do not deploy your parachute and you, he spits you out you'll literally be spat to the floor and basically go well, it is an instant down, so bear that in mind. Obviously, keep your ammo stocked up with this ammo crate that's literally on the beach. Just keeping an eye on for his ta attacks. Kill these orbs that are chasing you around. As I said, they are quite annoying and they do deal a bit of damage to you. So if you have one, it's not so bad. But if you've got like four of them like chasing you and hitting you, then you're going to be losing quite a bit of health. So again, if he shoots that laser at you, you need to try and move out the way, like the direction it's coming at, because that's pretty much an instant down that you haven't got any armor plates on. But again, just literally keep it running around in circles, and you should be pretty much fine with this. When he does burrow under the ground, just literally come to a bit of a higher ground to avoid him eating you and just shoot the floor and he should pop back up or throw grenades at the floor whatever you basically want to do to try and get him back up but just don't ignore him because he will take a while to come back up so just keep shooting the floor or throw grenades at the ground to get him back up from underground so as soon as you have killed him you will be given 2000 xp for killing him obviously you've seen i had 4000 but that's only because it's double xp on so as soon as you do kill him you will get like a load of loot drop from him and then you will get your rewards portal which has the lock diary in it which is used to open the dark keeper portal in the normal map once you've done that come to this and x through here